As many of you probably already know, March is National Reading Month. But did you also know that it's National Nutrition Month as well? And while those two things may seem to have nothing in common, besides happening in the month of March, they are actually very interconnected. And you can help your kids thrive and continue to learn while they are at home. Our sponsors, the United Dairy Industry of Michigan, invited Michelle Oliver out to Oakman Elementary School in Dearborn at the start of their reading month. Yeah, it's to get a look at how proper nutrition fuels learning. How's everyone doing? It's National Reading Month, so schools like Oakman Elementary kicked off the month inviting local celebrities in to read. So the title is Shoot for the Goal, the Justin Abdicator story. Red Wings hockey player Justin Abdicator took time out of his busy schedule to share his book with the kids. If he had hoped to play hockey, he had to get good grades first. Spreading a positive message. Justin decided to work as hard as he could. He kept practicing. It follows my story as a kid growing up a Red Wings fan. You know, I do a lot of these school visits. I was thinking, well, you know, I read all these books. You know, I have a great story. You know, why not share a story and inspire kids to, to follow their dreams? So he worked even harder and became captain of his high school hockey team. Well, we appreciate Justin coming today and leading to our kids. To show that everybody has a different path, but we all connect through reading. Some of them were wearing signs saying, you know, I'm going to shoot for my goals, I'm going to dream big, and, and you know, I think that's, that's the message. But Justin also knows for all these kids to really hear his message, they needed a healthy start to their day. Uh, just making sure you have a well-balanced diet. What I know now, I wish I would have known 10 years ago, 15 years ago even in college, and, and would have fueled my body the right way. Okay, so let's get the facts. Breakfast has a big impact on learning. Research has shown kids who eat school breakfast score 17.5% higher on standardized math tests and are 20% more likely to graduate high school. Talk about scoring big. But let's hear from the experts. So not only are they fueling their body when they are consuming these healthy foods, but they're also fueling their mind. So eating a healthy and nutritious breakfast can help get increased attentiveness at school so that they're ready to learn when they go back to the classroom. And that healthy breakfast frequently includes some milk. So dairy, especially at breakfast and lunch, should be consumed. It has nine essential nutrients, which are essential for health and for learning. It has calcium and vitamin D that are really helpful for our bones. And then it also has protein, which is a great source to help build up our muscles. Perhaps that's why Justin includes it in his breakfast. I usually have some milk, some oatmeal, uh, some fruit. It keeps me powered through the day. Well, if it's good enough for a Red Wing, While all the schools are closed, it's a good time for kids to discover a new book. Justin Abdelkader's book, Shoot for the Goal, is available as an ebook on various websites, and you can order the actual book from MomentumBooks.com. And since all the kids are home from school right now, it's also a good time to try out new breakfast ideas together, right? For nutritional recipes and more to help fuel them, visit the website MilkMeansMore.org. That's milk means more.org.